welcome to Fighting Irish Extra. I'm Laura Thomas. Well, the weather outside might be frightful, but don't worry, we've got some delightful highlights for you. Let's kick things off with the eighth ranked men's basketball team. Coach K coming in with 1,000 wins, but the Irish were hoping to give him his 309th loss. Packed house at Purcell on Wednesday night, Jaron Grant led the Irish with 23 points and 12 assists. 14 for Zach August, 13 for Pat Connaughton. And after being down by 10 in the second, Grant gave the Irish a lead with the foul line jumper as the shot clock expires. Then with 30 seconds to go, Grant found Steve Astoria in the corner. He drained the three, putting the Irish up by four. Final score, 77-73 Irish. Sunday night, Notre Dame at Pitt. Demetrius Jackson led the team with 15 points with the Irish unable to pull off the comeback. They fall in this one, 76-72. That is the first ACC road loss of the season for the Irish. Their record is now 20-3 on the season, 8-2 in league play. Now let's see how the women's team did this week. Thursday night, number four Irish look to continue their success at Virginia Tech. Freshman Catherine Westbelt scored a career-high 17 points. Junior Jewel Lloyd added 16. Irish beat the Hokies 74-50. Next up, Wake Forest in town for the annual Pink Zone game to raise money for breast cancer research and awareness. Lloyd led the Irish with 20 points while senior guard Maddie Cable put up 12. She also had a career high six steals. Notre Dame held the Demon Deacons to three baskets in the final 11 minutes, coming out with a 92-63 victory. Muffet McGraw's squad now tied with Florida State and Louisville for the lead in the ACC. They improved 21-2 on the season, 8-1 in the league. They host Virginia on Thursday. Now let's head to the Eck Tennis Pavilion to check out men's tennis taking on Northwestern. Junior Quentin Monahan overcame a second set loss in a tiebreaker to clinch the final point for the 14th ranked Irish. The home match was a close one as the 30th ranked Wildcats took the Irish to four third sets in singles, including four single sets and one doubles match decided in tiebreakers. The number 14 Irish finished strong with a final score of 4-3. In the first of a two-game series with New Hampshire, Notre Dame went down 4-0 early. Mario Lucia scored his 17th goal of the year on a power play. Vinny Henestroza also notched his 19th goal of the year later in the period, but New Hampshire won this one 5-2. Game two, Notre Dame got on the board first with a goal from Austin Woodrich. The power play streak continued for the Irish on a one-timer goal from Steven Fogarty. Ben Osley and Tony Bretzman both scoring their first career goals, helping the Irish claim victory. The Irish Icers are now 11-14-3 on the season overall. Notre Dame hits the road this weekend with a pair of games at Maine. That'll do it for this week's fix. I'm Laura Thomas, and as in all things, go Irish.